Hi there, welcome to Kerry Shaves. Nice to see you and nice to be back here shaving. It's Sunday, um, so it's just time for a relaxing shave with a new soap, splash and EDT from a vendor in the UK, not an artisan in the UK, but a, a vendor that's now stocking and selling this particular brand of soap and aftershave splashes. If you're in the EU, or the UK, you can get these from this vendor. So, what's the soap and splash, etc.? It's Barrister Man Ravish. Ravish. <laughs> this is uh, this was released uh, on uh, for Valentine's Day. Um, yeah, here's the soap. Here, I'll give you a look at the ingredients, and you can pause that if you wish to look at them. There you go. Yeah, Barrister Man. So here's the soap here. Uh, dark coloured soap. Uh, the notes on this are orange, lemon, bergamot, lavender, sandalwood, myrrh, benzoin, labdanum, cinnamon and vanilla. It's a very complex scent. It's a typical Barrister and Man scent. Um, Will at Barrister and Man makes some amazing scents. And this one's no different. It's not very strong at the tub, um, but that will change once it's lathered up. You can kind of get the citrus notes at the top there, but um, yeah, we'll see how it goes with that. So, um, if you're looking to buy that, if you're in the UK or if you're in the EU, uh, the place to go is Slick Boys. Slickboys.co.uk. Uh, that's the place that's uh, selling these, and I think they're actually going to be the new vendor for Ariana and Evans um, pretty soon. I don't know if it's happening now or if it's going to happen soon. I, I think there's been talk between them and Peter Chircalis, but um, I could be wrong on that, but I think I'm 90% right. But I'll, obviously, if, if it does come to fruition, I'll let you know. Fruition! That's a big word for uh, this uh, early in the in the video, Kevy. Yeah, I know. Um, yeah, so that's uh, the soap I'm going to be using. The razor I'm going to be using is the Smart Helix Apollo Light Razor again. I used this in the last shave. Um, absolutely stunning. Stunning, stunning razor. Uh, fantastic, beautiful. There's, if you look back the last couple of videos, uh, you'll be able to see this. And all its uh, glorious detail. Yeah, so it's a three piece razor, comes apart like that. You get two base plates, which I will just show you now. This one has one line on it, just where my finger is there, and this one has two lines. So the one line is less aggressive, the two lines is more aggressive. That's that there. Right, so I'm going to use the, the one line base plate just for the first, second, and third pass. I might change it up to the two, two line base plate uh, for the pickup pass, but we shall see. We'll see how it gets on. Uh, the blade I'm going to be putting in that, a brand new Paul Silver Super Iridium. Not used one of these for a while, so I thought I would uh, try that. Usually a very smooth blade, but we'll see how it goes in this razor. Yeah, so there's the, uh, there's the bottom cap there. So it has these little posts, see yeah, a little bit different. Um, and you set the blade on those. So they sit like that, as you can see, look, put the top cap on, that sits like that and um, they give you a little plastic rubber washer that I found, I can't see if I put it down on this white towel, and I can't see it, hold on just let me find it, <laughs> okay I found it, here it's here, look, that little, that little rubber washer um, just goes on here. I couldn't see it on the white towel. I've got a white towel here. Because this is white I'd taken it off and I, I couldn't find it. <laughs> so that goes on there um, just to protect the razor just when the handle's screwed on. Protect it just from getting marked. Uh, yeah so there we go. And there's the blade all aligned in there. Really nice. Beautiful. Okay let's uh, show you the brush that we're using. I've not used this for a long time. Um, this is a little Parker brush, synthetic knot. I think it's about, it looks at 24 millimeter. Um, and this is full marble. Um, if that's just gonna focus there, yeah, Parker, there you go. Yeah, nice little brush, great weight in the base of this. Um, yeah, nice heavy brush. You can hear that on the sink there. Right, okay, let's uh, go to the soap and stuff and start lathering. I'll just wet the brush. I've got some water here. I'm going to leave it quite wet. So just giving it one shake. 
straight into the soap. Yeah, so I'll just turn it upside down like that, just let that water fall out. And this is the new Excelsior base from Barrister Man. Actually, it's quite a, quite a dark lather there, like a chocolatey colour. I have seen a video, um, someone was concerned that this soap might uh, stain your brushes if you have like a, a badger brush or stuff like that, but um, no such worries, I don't think. Just gathering the soap. Oh, scent's coming out now, it smells nice. Yeah, as I say, very complex, but very, very good. So we'll just gather some more soap. So how has your weekend been? Sunday today, um, the weather has been a bit mixed here, kind of sunshine, showers, a bit of everything really. Right, we'll see how that is in the brush. See how we got on with that. Let me just uh, wet my face. You can see the stuff that's fell into this water here, it's actually, um, it's actually a, like a light chocolate colour. Yeah, and you can see it on the face there as well, look. But that's okay, that's probably the vanilla that's in this soap. Yeah, so this was released for uh, Valentine's Day. I don't know if it's a limited release or if it's still available or if it's sold out and they're bringing it back, I'm not sure, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, I'll check. Um, and let you know in the description if it's if I can see it on the Barstow Man site or the Slick Boys website. So lots of soap in the tub. I'll just uh, rinse that soap, I'll clean it out. Top the soap there so that it's clean, like so. And I'll just leave that upside down sitting there. Right, let's uh, go with the brush. Okay, let's move everything out of the way so everything doesn't get wet. Right, let's go with this brush. Yeah, I can tell it needs water straight away. I know this um, Excelsior base takes a lot of water. Let me just uh, start adding water. Right, I've dipped the whole knot in there. Whole knot. Some more water. Yeah, good thing about this brush is it's a it's a little knot on it, so once you splay it, it's not like massive. The scent's coming out now. It's uh, <laughs> Still very complex. Tastes nice. Mm. Just put more water in the brush. Well, he's happy at that. Yeah, as you know, it takes me a while to <laughs> make a lather. Some people just uh, put the brush in the tub. As long as it looks soapy, they just throw it in their face and uh, that does them, that's fine. But I like to create the lather. Make it nice and thick, shiny. Make sure there's enough water in it because that's what gives you the uh, slickness. 
more water. Of course, it depends if you have a if you have time to be doing this for ten minutes, creating your lather. <laughs> to make time for a shave. I think it still needs um, some more. Yeah, let me just put some in there. Yeah, so as you can see, it um, takes loads and loads of water. I think I've got more on my t-shirt than I do on my face. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, look. Absolutely brilliant. That's the way I like it. That's the way, uh-huh, uh-huh, I like it. Good. Okay, look at the brush. Right, let's get this out. Uh, cleaned up. I think I need to employ a cleaner to <laughs> clean this up. Right. Look, look at this t-shirt, look. <laughs> Let's get cleaned up here. That looks good. Give this t-shirt a wipe. There you go. Good as new. Really? Yeah. Right. So I'm heating the razor on the blade. Right. The Apollo light from Smart Helix with the Paul Silver Super Iridium on the um, the one lined plate. Can you see that there? Just one line. Right. Okay. Let's go. Yeah, I was. Um, I got an email from uh, the guy that makes these, and he said try a uh, try a steeper angle, um, and that definitely does feel better. You know, usually the angle for a uh, optimum angle is thirty degrees. But he said try a try it slightly steeper against your face. That does feel very uh, smooth. It doesn't feel hugely different, but... If that's what the, the, the person that made the razor is telling me to try, I'm gonna do it. It certainly does. It feels, um, it feels smoother than the last time I used it. A slightly steeper angle. Yeah, almost uh yeah, it doesn't feel it doesn't feel as uh you know last time I think I had it there and maybe that's why you could feel the blade with the uh, the other plate. But now with this, uh, as I say, with that steeper angle, yeah, I mean, usually you would hold the razor kind of there, uh, 30 degrees, but he's telling me that just to lay it sort of more against the face. More, almost like, um, almost more like a straight razor.
very comfortable. Yeah, that soap is great as well. Okay, first pass done. Absolutely amazing slickness. Let me rinse, I'll come back for the second pass. Someone said, why do I rinse after each pass? Um, it's just something I started doing. I like to start each pass with a clean face. Um, he says, don't you wash away the slickness? Well, no, not really, because there's plenty there. Um, that, that's why I do it. I just, it's, a bit, it's a bit OCD, I know. But um, that's just what I like to do. I like to rinse off my face uh, with cold water, start each pass with a fresh face. A fresh face. <laughs> Take this mask off and put a new one on. So uh, I'll do that and I'll see you in a second or two. Okay, there you see. Nicely rinsed off. All clean, fresh mask. Yeah, and there's still lots of slickness there. I'm just going to actually dry my hands because I know this brush is going to be slick. Great lather. Yeah, look. Nice and dense, shiny. Okay. Second pass, I'm just leaving this razor as it is. Same for the first pass. Uh, and it will go across the growth of the hair. What's your shave for the weekend? You um, you break out all the nice things that you have. And you've got more time at the weekends to just enjoy your shaves and uh, just take your time. Some you time. Feels absolutely beautiful. Everything working as it should. Yeah, thank you for all the uh, the comments. Keep them coming. Um, all the comments on the the five four three two one tag video. Very good. Yeah, that was a that was a, a difficult <laughs> uh, video to make. Trying to decide what to. It was more difficult deciding what to leave out than it was <laughs> deciding uh, what, what to actually pick, you know. That feels lovely. Really good. Just that little bit of difference makes, I don't know, just, uh, it just feels, it's not a natural way to do it because if you're used to shaving at 30 degrees, but I'm having to concentrate a bit more just to remember to keep that angle a little bit steeper, but really good. Feels fantastic. Oh, wow. Okay, let me rinse, I'll come back for pass number three. I'm laughing because there is absolutely hardly anything there. 
Wonderful. Right, let's go for uh, Against the Growth. We'll come back after I rinse. See you soon. Okay, here we go again. Back to this beautiful little brush. Yeah, still plenty of lather in there. Plenty of moisture still left in it. It hasn't dried out. Which is great. It's a beautiful scent. It's, uh, it's very hard to describe some Barstler Man scents. They're so complex, it's difficult to pick out one particular thing, just the way Will blends all the scents together. It's really nice. Cool. Okay. Let's go for pass number three. Yeah, I'll, uh, I've just left this as it is. So again, a little bit steeper. there, went a little bit steeper and got a little weeper. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Of course that looks like a... Looks like a spot or something. Yeah, I might need to get the uh, the styptic for that. Yeah, I don't know if it looks like a... It's not a cut or a... It looks like I've sliced the top of something off there. Excellent. You can certainly hear the uh, feedback from that. The balance on this razor is absolutely superb. Yeah, I'll get the uh, I'll get the styptic gel out for that. slickness on that soap. There's so many good uh, soap bases out now. That's the thing, the only, the only bad thing is that they change them <laughs> every uh, few months. You'll buy a few tubs of something, something and then they'll say, oh, we've got a new base. And you're like, ah, I just bought lots of soap. Okay, let me have a quick rinse. Uh, let me see what's needing picked up. Okay. Nothing there. Nothing there. There's a tiny little bit there. This jawline is actually... Pretty much, yeah, a little bit there. Actually, if I go that way, yeah, there is a little bit. Right, let me get the styptic gel. Uh, 
bit. So here it is here, Purazzo. I'll just uh, sort that out. This will come, see, you only need a tiny little bit. Just like that. And then we'll go. Stopped it. Yeah, I keep forgetting I've got this actually. I've got a styptic pencil, it's in a in about 15 different bits, but this is a uh, good stuff. Yeah, let, okay, I just uh, stopped it there. Right, okay, pick up time. Just down this jawline again. Yeah, look, you can see where the uh, styptic's been. There's not much uh, lava there, so just need to be careful. I just mean you need to be careful because uh, styptic will take away a lot of the slickness from the soap. Feels good. Feels good. Okay. You have a quick rinse. Yeah, that feels good. Okay, let's see how much uh, soap is left in this brush. See, I thought I actually overloaded that, but look, there's only that much left. But enough for a little face wash. I only have a small head anyway, so. Right, I'll uh, rub this out, this wonderful soap, and uh, I'll rinse it off with cold water and I'll see you for the post shave. Ho ho ho! Ho ho! Sound like Father Christmas there. Ho ho ho! Yeah, that's a good shave. Very smooth, silky feeling face. Very nice. Okay, uh, post shave is the splash, the matching splash, ravish, aftershave. Uh, now I just had a look at the ingredients and this actually has witch hazel in it, so that's good. There's the ingredients there if you want to take a look. Uh, and this is their new um, Deltas. This is their new Deltas formula. Uh, aftershave, whatever that means. Uh, they obviously have a new formula, so there's the ingredients there. Yeah, so let's uh, try some of this. It smells kind of like the soap. Right, a good splash there. Nice. A little bit of sting, just uh, down here, for that little... Um, Weeper was. That feels good. It's dried in. Dried in already. Yeah, it's similar to the soap. It's very nice. It's uh, very complex. That'll do. Just wipe the top there. Uh, and to finish it off, I'm going to go with some of the EDT, the Eau de Toilette. There's the uh, this is a very nice, kind of smooth, um, silky packaging. Here's the back here. It has the scent notes on it. On the top, let's get freaky. Uh, there's the ingredients in this. Alcohol, uh, denatured alcohol and fragrance. Right, let's have a look at this. There's the ball, 30 mil. Yeah, nothing else on it. Nice sprayer there. Okay, let's uh, have a little spray of this. Two sprays. Oh, that is nice. Oh, wait till Mrs. Kevy smells this. Yeah, probably be the usual. You smell like an old man. 
<laughs> yeah, that's what she used to say. What do you think of this aftershave, Mrs. Kevy? Smell like an old man. It's because I'm an old man. <laughs> right, okay. Um, that's nice. Very good. One little dot there. One little dot there. But my skin feels um, very nice. Yeah, okay. Let me show you what I've used again in today's shave. Uh, the soap. Barrister Man Ravish. Uh, this was their Valentine's release. I'm not sure if this is available just now, if it's widely available, if it was a limited edition. I'll find out if there's a link for it, I will put it there. But I got this at Slick Boys in the UK. Uh, they do like hair pomades and stuff like that, uh, but they're also starting to do uh, these soaps from Barrister Man. Uh, I think they do oat cake soaps as well, but I'll put links for everything. Go and check them out and uh, if there's something you fancy, that's where you can get stuff like this. Uh, there's the soap there, all cleaned out. Uh, the brush was the Parker Synthetic. Uh, this is the faux marble handle. Very nice. Good little brush. Uh, the razor, the fantastic Apollo Light from Smart Helix. Yeah, wonderful razor. Great handle, great balance, beautiful knurling. Uh, it's really is top quality stuff, that razor. Um, and just a, a slightly uh, steeper angle, um, which seemed to work well. Uh, that's what the maker told me to, to try, so I did, and it yeah, seems to work. It does seem to work, and this is on the, um, the number one lined base plate, which is uh, just one line, which is the milder of the two. I think the blade gap on this is 0 0.5, so quite a mild razor, but done the job, no problem. Um, three passes, pickups. Uh, and we also use the Parasso gel on this little thing here. Um, here's the Parasso styptic gel, which you can pick up. Uh, yeah, face wash, cold water, cleaned all the gear out, post shave, Ravish, aftershave splash, and finished it off with Ravish EDT. And that, ladies and gents, is today, Sunday's shave. Very good, very happy. Face feels, oh, really good now. Yeah, that splash is really good. That feels like, um, I was going to say like baby powder. Very soft BBS. Yeah, especially on the neck there. Feels really good. Very good. Okay, that's all for me for today. Thank you very much for watching. Keep the comments coming. Um, I've just surpassed, I've just passed, <laughs> I've just passed 9,000 subscribers, heading towards 10,000, where there's going to be an awesome, awesome giveaway. Um, uh, yeah, so... I've got, I don't know exactly what it is, but <laughs> it's going to be uh, a good giveaway. So 9,000 subscribers, absolutely unbelievable. I would uh, never have thought that uh, I would have that many people watching me shave and listening to me talk the things I talk about. <laughs> I, I always thought, mm, I don't know what to talk about, but I just kind of try and be myself and uh, hope you guys uh, enjoy the ride uh, along, come along for it. As I say, I've been doing this... I started doing this to document my shaves and it kind of just spiralled from there and, uh, and now we're here at this stage and it's great. I really like making these videos. I love interacting with uh, like-minded people like yourself in the comment section. Um, yeah, we have some good fun, good laughs along the way. So please keep the comments coming. Thank you very much for them. I appreciate your time watching these videos. If you skip through them, uh, that's fine. I don't mind. Uh, they do go on a bit but um, I'm not going to cut them short because they are what they are and uh, if I've got something to say I'll say it and we talk and uh, I'll show you the gear and stuff like that and that's how it works right yeah good okay have yourselves a wonderful rest of Sunday uh, and have a great week ahead uh, tomorrow if you're watching this on Monday I hope you've had a great start to the week if you're watching it on Thursday I hope <sighs> stop all this nonsense Kevy. right okay I'll let you go I'll see you soon I love you all Take care of yourselves. See you soon.